Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shaughnessy, and on this channel we discuss fragrance, beauty, and wellness. And if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe, subscribe. So y'all, I am finally going to show you what I ordered from the Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale from online. Um, I've had this for a couple of days. But you know, life happens. And then I, you know, I paid the, the next day shipping. So I was like, I'm gonna pay that, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it out. But y'all, I don't know, I might be a little, I like getting my stuff the next day. I don't know, I don't know if I ever should've done that because now I'll be like, do I wanna pay next day shipping? But I know myself, it won't be often. <laughs> Okay, so let me show you all what I picked up from online. I'm going to start with the things I wanted to back up or just um, add to in my, that I already had in my collection. So if you watched my previous haul video, which if you haven't, I will link it above right here. Please check it out. I wanted to get another cherry elixir. I love this cherry scent. It's strong. It's long lasting. It's sexy. I just love it so I have two in my collection and I am happy about it honey and I was thinking should I have gotten three but I think with with this cherry scent it's not one I would just wear year-round so I think I'm good with two two mist and one lotion I think I'm good I also picked up a backup of petal high y'all this is a like light fluffy marshmallowy sweet floral scent that's very pretty and i also picked up the lotion because i couldn't find the lotion when i first got this so now i have two mists and a lotion and i'm happy about that love petal high i also picked up this mist and let me tell y'all why i did not what well, you know i don't need any of these mists but i didn't need this but i had been wanting this mist forever and I never could find it during the sale or by the time I would be like, okay, I've gotten everything else. I'm going to get this. It would be sold out. And the packaging is just so pretty. Even though I have the perfume, I just wanted the whole set. And this is Tea's Dreamer. It is just so pretty. The packaging on this mist is so pretty. This is a light, easy, coconut, beachy scent. It's nice, easy to wear, easy grab in the summer. So I'm happy I finally have the mist in my collection because it is just so cute. And I went to take back the um, fragrance mist that didn't work in Coconut Woods. And I decided to go ahead and pick up two more of these because this is just good, y'all. It is just good. It is a unique coconut scent in my opinion. And I'm not a coconut lover. I'm just, sometimes I like some coconut in my life, but it's not a scent note I just gravitate towards, but this is a good one, Coconut Woods. Okay, so now to some new fragrance mist that I purchased that I haven't smelled. So this is a collection that came out, I wanna say during the, it was at the beginning of this year, I think. I think it did, it was an online exclusive and I don't order unless there's a great sale. And then by the time there was a great sale, these were sold. These weren't these were no longer on the website. So I decided to go ahead and get them even though from listening to other people talk about them, they didn't rave about them, but I wanted to see for myself since they were part of the sale. And this first one is Blissful Garden. Love that packaging. It has notes of frosted black currant, vanilla orchid and balsam fir. So it sounds like something I would like. I'm a little worried about that balsam fur. So let's see, but the packaging is stunning. Absolutely stunning. I like this. It's uh, kind of a dark, not darker than heavy, but it's not a bright fruity. It's a dark fruitiness to it. Feels like it's a little bit of woodiness to it. Like I would call this a moody, but pretty pink, but not bright pink. Kind of like the, the pinks they have in this fruity, woody scent. I like it. Yeah, I like this. So I'm happy with Blissful Garden, yeah. 
And now that I've gotten these, y'all, you know I tell you Victoria's Secret sometimes will slowly just add things or stuff will pop up during their sale. Now the lotions are on the website for these fragrance mists. So we'll see if I decide to try those out. So this is Royal Forest. This has notes of sheer rose, white grapefruit, and luminous woods. The packaging on this is pretty. I'm not much for having a deer and all that on my uh, fragrance mist, but it is pretty. Mm, I don't know. I don't like this. Hold on. What are the notes? I'm getting like grapefruit. When I first smelled this, I was like, this smells like, and I never say this, like a cleaning product. Maybe it needs to sit, because now, okay, it's like a citrus floral. A little woodiness is coming through. I don't know about this one. Like the cleaning product has left that smell. But I don't know. I don't know about this one. And I'll tell you what, I saw the lotion in this in store and I was like, oh, I see the lotion. I already ordered this. I'm so glad I taught myself not to just get the lotion just for everything to match because I would have been so upset with myself. Does that mean I would have to go back to the store? So I don't know about this one, y'all. I'm gonna have to try it out on my, well, I could, let me spray it on my skin and then we'll come back to it after a minute but yeah that one i'm not really feeling right now and the last one that was in that collection is heavenly fruit this has notes of peach blossom magnolia petals and white sandalwood let's see how this one smells this is one i'm also kind of like like the blue one and this one i was nervous about but i just wanted to go ahead try them out for myself let me put it over here because i sprayed this hand now i might be going back to the store this just smells like something i've had before it doesn't smell like anything special it just smells like Like, a, it's a fruity, sweet scent with some florals. I don't know. It's kind of just all blended and thrown together. Like, I don't know. I don't love it. I don't hate it. But it's one I can't see myself reaching for. So this is one I'll have to try out and see on my skin. But yeah, I don't really like it right now. Okay, this Royal Forest, this one right here that I put on my hand. On my hand is a very fruity musky scent but not fruity as it oh it's just like great citrus musk that's what i'm thinking it's a very citrusy musky scent and again i don't love it i don't hate it like i think i have things in my perfumes in my collection that this would go with and enhance so maybe let me spray this hand with the heavenly fruit and see if uh, you know change my mind on that so that was everything from the victoria's secret beauty side so now i'm going to show you what i picked up in body care from pink so i did i've heard i've read reviews about this line i've seen people you know rave about it and since it was on sale, so that usually means they're getting ready to get rid of it, I decided to give it a try. So I picked up the Rose Water uh, Body Wash and Collagen, and I love collagen. So let's see, y'all, how this smells, because 
yeah i don't know this is this is the reason why i didn't want to pay full price for this because it's rose water and ivy and usually for me that is not my forte i don't know and i picked up the scrub yeah that's not bad that's not bad it wouldn't be my favorite scrub but it's not bad it's kind of like that you know that uh makeup not makeup that like high-end skincare smell from an older company you know like estee lauder or something that's kind of what this is giving me and i also picked up the body oil and i have to say the packaging the hot the pink packaging played a big role in me going ahead and picking this up during the sale you know yeah i mean it's nice it's not blowing my mind but i don't have a rose like body oil so that's good and i also picked up the rose water mist and this has notes of sparkling lychee rose essential oil and coconut water so let's see how this smells let's hope it sprays yay see this smells different than the body care like the body care smells more you know spa like aromatherapy kind of like this has that but it has a sweetness to it okay i like it i like that so yeah i at first i was like ooh, i might be taking rose water back if i don't like it but i do like it enough to keep it especially the mist i really like the um rose water mist that's pretty okay let's re-smell heavenly fruit on this hand yeah it's just it's okay it's nice it's okay um but it's nothing Nothing that's grabbing me. This would be one I would just layer with something if I don't feel like going back to the store to take it back, in which I don't. Because it's not bad, but it doesn't grab me, you know? I don't know. It's a, It's got a peachiness to it, but it's, it's not a peach that I don't just, that I dislike. It's okay that's where we're gonna leave it it's okay so I also picked up another gloss I picked up juicy melon because you know this was pretty and it looked like you know water I hope it smells like watermelon and I hope it gives like a sheer tint y'all update on the candy baby gloss I wore that and it actually showed up on my lips you know it, it didn't show up like how but the light pink color did show up and it did smell really good so yeah i'm gonna i might have to check out some more of these glosses and i also picked up this bombshell lips gloss set because i was reading reviews and it got such high ratings the glosses did people were just raving about these glosses and i've never tried these glosses from victoria's secret i've only tried these in that come in this packaging so what grabbed me about this one is the light it's the first two these are the two that i wanted from this collection i wanted that pinky color that goldy beige color and then we would just see about the other two because these would be the ones maybe fall winter but these are the two the bombshell and the seduction are the ones that just grab my attention because at first i was like oh i'm not gonna get these glosses you know how good are they and then i was reading uh comments and i said oh my goodness and that pink kept calling me like will it show up in that that beigey gold so I caved and I got it, y'all, and I'm hoping they're good. So the last couple things I got were handbags. Y'all, this handbag, when it came out, and I said, that is on my list to get for semi-annual sale. Oh my goodness, please let it be at semi-annual sale. And it was. So this is the bag, y'all. Fire, fire. And it does have a strap. It is so pretty, 
so pretty. I saw the wallet in store and I decided not to get it because I do want to get a, a big wallet from Victoria's Secret, but I think I want like the pink one. But this bag is so pretty. I'm like, should I just go ahead and get the wallet? So I don't know, y'all, but I love that bag. Okay, so another bag I got. Let me pull out the strap for this one. Well, can I pull out the strap for this one? Because to me, you have to have the strap to really make this bag. So you know, I got this bag, the little blue, I call these little wallet on the chain bags. This is good for summertime. Good just for any time you want a little pop of color. And I love these bags. They're so pretty. And with this blue color, I was looking at, you know, a couple bags in this color. But this is the one I felt looked like the most looks, the most high end. So that's why I went with this one for this color. And I am very satisfied with the little wallet on the chain bag. And the last bag I got, y'all, I was, oh, I was so indecisive with this bag. I just didn't know if I wanted it in this style. So let me show you the bag. I wanted this color block bag, okay? And this is in like the camera bag style. And it comes with the pocket right there. And it's the pink pink the the light blue and the dark blue and then it has you know this trim right here and then the strap is pink and gold and blue on the inside so i was just the bag i first i wanted in this style was the tote the um crossbody tote but it didn't have a zipper it, it didn't have a snap or anything to close that bag and i was just like I didn't feel comfortable with that. So I was torn between, I love the look of that one, but I wanted, you know, this style. And I'm happy with this bag. I am happy with it. It looks good. It's a nice size. I don't have to worry about stuff falling out because I am not a genteel with my bags. I will throw my bag somewhere. I'm just not. So I am so happy with these bags and i must say you all this was a relatively small haul for me from victoria's secret semi-annual sale because i'm trying to be more selective in what i purchase and they didn't have as much as a variety even online as what i've become accustomed to from victoria's secret but I must say, I'm thinking about a couple of items. Like I'm thinking about, there's another bag in this style and it's like, it's in an orange color, like a coral color. And I keep going back and forth because I have a smaller bag kind of in that color and I don't really think I need another bag in that color, but it's so pretty. And I was hoping they would have done a white and gold bag in that color because I want a white handbag. And I was looking at one at Macy's. But if I didn't get one from Victoria's Secret for a cheaper price, I would go with Vicky um, for the bags. And uh, I just don't know. I'm, I'm thinking about the wallet. I'm thinking about maybe looking at some more of these glosses. But I also feel like I'm done. I don't know and I don't I don't want any of the lotions to this collection even though this is my favorite one I love this one just from first sniff I don't feel like I need the lotions um wait a minute that's what I'm missing where is that rose water lotion I kept looking like something is missing y'all I don't think they gave me they didn't send me my lotion I ordered the body lotion in this set and I just realized I don't have it so now now I need to go check the receipt and see if I'm, check the receipt to see if it's on there and then check the doggone box and see if I missed a box. I don't think I missed a box though. It just wasn't in there. Y'all, you know what? I think I am done with these sales because <laughs> I just wanted to go smoothly and I don't understand why they just don't go smoothly. Ugh. But in case I'm not, you know, of course, I will post a haul and let you all know. But I feel like, I feel like I'm done. 
I feel like I am. But of course, you all will know if I'm not. So if you all enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below telling me, have you shopped the sale? What do you think of the sale? Did you pass on the sale? You know, are you over Victoria's Secret Semi with Sale? Just let me know in the comments below your thoughts and what you picked up from Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale. And please share this video with everyone who loves the semi-annual sales as much as we all do. And please don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't ever miss any of my videos. And as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.